What's going on guys? Moto vlog number two with your boy Moose in the house or out of the house because I'm now riding. Riding in my little hunk of junk. My little I, I love this thing. I keep saying that. I love this thing. Yeah, just uh just riding into the school zone again. Today is just gonna be a little short video. I just wanted to uh ride it around a little bit and then uh I'm gonna go get some fuel in a little bit because um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run out pretty soon. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna ride around the neighborhood a bit, uh, see what life brings today. So what's up, guys? Um, did you guys hear about the RC, FC, CF, the MCs of the GTs of the ABCs? <laughs> Have you guys seen the CF Moto 450? That thing is pretty sick. You know, uh, as a beginner rider, I mean, I think it's pretty sick. Uh, some, some of you 600 and 1,000 boys, um, you'll probably think that the... Uh, CF Moto 450 SS is a pretty crappy bike um, just because it's a 450 I know you guys are hating already but I love that bike so much as a beginner rider looking at that thing I'm just like wow like this is pretty sick I want one um, I like the little sequentialness in the um, in the headlight and taillights I think it's like the sickest thing that I've ever seen you know as I ride this bike more and more, I start to see like, you know what, this bike is actually pretty good. Like, it's not that bad um, in terms of like what it needs. I mean, this thing's riding just fine. Um, this thing's been sitting for quite a while and for it to be riding the way that it's riding, applause, applause, applause to the SZR600. Um, this is the R version, I guess. Um, you can't tell that because this thing has been repainted and remodified and re-welded and re-this and re-that all day long. So, um, not by me, you know, of course. Oh. Noob move. This thing has been remodified so many times that that's the main reason that I was kind of just like, you know what, I don't really want to do this. Um, I don't really want to keep this bike, but, uh, ooh, red bomb. Um, you know, I'm always saying like, oh, you know what, I'm just going to let go of this bike. I don't want to keep it. Um, but it's, it's very decent. It's very decent. Um, this thing rides and dry, uh, this thing rides like, I don't know. I, Again, I'm a beginner, but this thing rides pretty sweet. This thing does not have any flaws in terms of, you know, something wrong with their transmission or something wrong with, you know, other stuff. So I, I think it's a pretty good bike. I think what I'll eventually do um, if I don't get the front fairing for this bike is I'm going to do a front uh, cafe racer front end look. I don't want to modify the bike too much because, you know, I, I'm not that experienced. I'm not, you know, oh, you know, I know exactly what to put on it. I, I, I don't even know how to weld. I know a couple people that can, but me, myself, I just, I just don't know enough, you know. I'm not in the exact position to be buying a brand new bike or buying something, you know, post 2000s or two, even 2005 or anything like that. but. I do very much enjoy this bike and I think as long as I'm not able to buy something that I really really want, uh, for now this bike will be what I use. It's, this bike is going to be, you know, basically my, uh, what I'm, what I'm going to be using for, for now on. Well guys, we got to the gas station finally. So let's get this little baby. Get some gas in this little boy. This is actually the first time that I got gas in this car. In this car. Oh, 
let's see guys should I do premium I'll do premium I'm not even gonna put that much gas in it though I'm probably just gonna put like two gallons in it Woo. pretty close pretty close I do um, I do yearn for the day that I will be able to get a newer bike don't get me wrong I keep going back and forth you know with this should I keep this bike should I let it go but at the end of the day I really love this bike it does really um, feel great to be riding this thing and I don't have much that much bad things to say about this bike other than the condition of you know what it looks like and everything so that's that's the only thing for me is just the condition of what the bike looks like but other than that you know i think it's an amazing bike you know here in uh nevada uh the weather is coming up pretty soon um the weather is coming up pretty soon the cold weather the winter the wind chills are coming up pretty soon and I think that you know with, all, with there only being probably maybe 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 like two three weeks left of uh, riding that I'll be able to do um, I do want to I do want to enjoy it as much as I can so Once the weather gets really nice and cold, um, it is going to be a little difficult to to go out riding. So I'm just trying to enjoy, you know, the best that I can. This is just be me being a little uh, protected squid here, um, and by squid, I mean mollusk. What what is a protected squid? Is a protected squid like a? It's not a mollusk, is it? It's a. I know there's a word. Um, an ammonite? I feel like an ammonite, guys. Um, ammonites, you know, they're they're protected. They're they're safe. They're still squids, but they're like the protected squids. Not as in like endangered, but um, I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. In conclusion. Um, I really 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 am enjoying this bike the more like I said guys the more that I ride it the more I want to keep it so who knows guys I mean you already have the bike moose come on moose just you already have the bike just go ahead and keep it oh neutral and uh, make the best of what you got moose come on you can't get a bike right now get the next best thing is keep this one that's it for me guys subscribe because after today after this month I should be uh, I should be getting a lot more uh, content outside of this you know this here neighborhood without further ado guys y'all have a blessed day um and always remember put god first peace out guys what's the point of turning into a ghost to shun everybody in my life that love me the most i'm just a small town kid that was raised on the coast and before this music happened it was me and my folks uh, i don't need a contract to have my mother's love I don't need an endorsement to give my pops a hug And I don't need a booking just to hang with my brothers To perform in a club, you gotta know the plug uh, 